dime bag. Welcome back to my channel. So, today I am still, I don't know if obsessing is the right word, but it's in my head. The diffusion idea that I've done some <laughs> not so great paintings with, it's still bothering me um, the way I kind of thought it would. And I should have just gone with my original kind of sample that I did. I used a canvas that had a staple on it and to test run it. It wasn't large enough, and I actually liked it. Let me show it to you. It's been so long now, it's already, like, varnished all pretty and everything, but um, I needed a bigger canvas, but you could see how nice the colors came out. It was real silly. I liked the look of the strainer, and, of course, my pops of green, but I liked the color fusion, which was what my original idea was, and so... <laughs> Still not doing it quite the same way I did it, but I'm hoping it gets a good enough result. So I have my canvas here, which um, I have prepped with tape and push pins on the back. Helps with the not having so much mess in the back and obviously being able to tilt your canvas without having to touch it for me. Because I've got heavy fingers, helps me a lot. I'm using my favorite strainer, which I can't seem to get clean so much anymore. I'm going to have to... See what Christina says to clean this. But uh, this time I'm, I've glue dotted a small little cup on it so that the paint is able to flow out. And I'm going to put a little bit of paint underneath. In fact, I'm going to start with, uh, well, of course, uh, maybe I'll try a metallic just to see. Uh, the Deco Art Crystal Green Metallic for underneath it may or may not come into play so I'm just going to place this over it um, with all the paint that should kind of suck in like a bottle bottom does afterwards but I'll start with this so in the past I've done it where this cup of colors this cup of colors this cup of colors and I don't know these are my what if experience I'm just going a little crazy so I'm going to put all the colors into this bottle that I cut the bottle bottom over I have it taped and then this bottle hole is actually kind of big so I hole punched it a little bit smaller but I do want the heavy flow of the paint out to go through the strainer and that's not going to work now well maybe it will I'll just keep holding it with my finger but I tabbed it at the end to make it easier to pull off um, so yeah oh I also wanted to show just a couple things when I am doing different paintings things that I find are useful to have ready is a skewer and obviously a pair of tweezers in case you see a big gloopity glob in your painting you want to get it out that's always handy to have. I have my torch ready, straw, my long knife, my long palette. That's mostly for the skins afterwards, but just wanted to show you some of the things you can prepare before you actually start videotaping. So I'm going to have a lot of colors. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Let me just slightly move this over. I have a new setup, which I think you see more of the uh, area canvas. So when I tilt, you see it better, but Let's go ahead and just get started. So again, you're going to see a lot of color, which actually, let's see, I'm going to start with the Liquitex Prism Violet. And, you know, I, this is a graphite iridescent, um, iridescent. I'm thinking let's just start with the tiny, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to use that in between the colors, but, um. Because on the other one, I used the graphite base. But anyway, let's just do this. Liquitech Prism Violet. And i got to kind of guesstimate. So I can get all the colors in here. And then I'm going to go with Liquitex Deep Violet. Deco Art Quinacridone Magenta. Part of my problem before was I was using a lot more of like metallics which um, because of the craft paint were a little bit runnier and so I'm hoping with less of those or more strategically placed it won't be an issue. Grumbacher's Prussian Blue with the iridescent medium in it. Okay so that I need to be more careful it's higher up but I do want to layer it so that'll be interesting to see it doesn't give me the right uh, color separation that I want 
uh, the Delta Ceramco, their Blue Flash version, which I'm just going to do a little bit of that because I want the colors to be there, but I just want slight shimmer. Folk Art Cobalt Blue. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, so this is coming out on the bottom, so I'm going to have to hold it. I don't know how y'all hold these things. Well, that's sucky. Well, let's just keep going. Now I can feel it coming out. Okay, how am I going to stop the bleeding? <laughs> Let me get a paper towel. Because it's kind of curved in there. Oh, man. Let's try that. Experiments, experiments. Let's just keep going. Artist Love Crimson. Mm. I'm just going to try to apply pressure so it stays flat. Uh, Deco Art Wild Berry. And now this doesn't want to come out. Got to be ready for everything, folks. Ready for everything. I got to not be so funky about cleaning up so I can get through this. Okay. Folk Art uh, Pink Flash. I'm just going to do a little bit. Deco Art uh, Vermilion. Vermilion Hue. I've stopped the bleeding. And then we'll go with the Deco Art Cat Orange, which I'm actually trying. There's not much left in here. Apple berry outrageous apple barrel outrageous orange. Oh, I was supposed to be doing color separations with that. Too. Okay, uh, deco art Americana copper. So I already forgot what I was supposed to do, but that's okay. It's all fun. Let me go ahead and put a little bit of this iridescent graphite. A slight color separation and jump into the Liquitex CAD yellow medium hue. Sorry, I gotta hold it, but I don't want to block your view of the colors building up. Then the Target brand homemade modern. This is called Honey. Honey, honey. Then I'm going to go with some Deco Art uh, mix of Champagne Gold and Splendid Gold. Just a little bit. And I have the, no, the Deco Art Kelly Green, which, you know, I may be a little heavy handed with the green. Then I have the Craftsmart. No, I'm going to do the Deco Art Crystal Green Metallic, just a little bit in between. Then the Craftsmart Green Teal. The Target brand again, the Homemade Modern Rosemary. And then the Folk Art Color Shift Green Flash. I'm going to do a little bit of the graphite for some separation. And then, you know what, I'm going to go back with a little bit of the purple since I probably am going to lose a little bit. 
It was the Liquitex Prism. Deep Violet. Messy, messy. Quinacridone magenta. And there's a little green in the center, so let me see. Gold. No. You know what? Maybe just a little bit of copper. Okay, I'm so glad that stands up on its own. I think the first time I used it for a bottle pour, it stood up by itself for me too. So let's get this back here, put this here, and I'll take it off the, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, too much at once. <laughs> what fun. Look at that. Oh, man, I like poured completely off the other end. I thought about getting a bigger bottle, too, but... Eh. Next time, next time. <laughs> I keep saying next time, next time. And don't you worry, I'm going to pick up all this paint and use it again. So one of the other tips I had what, that I didn't do is to have your garbage can close to you, which mine is not, but it's okay. I'm going to give this a minute to continue to... to follow and pour out when I go get mine. Okay. Oh man. It's a lot of that good color, but it still seems dispersed. See, when I had done the ones cup by cup, I kind of had one color more on this side, one color more on that side, and I didn't like it as much. And... Even though I'm not getting the same result of my original, um, this is kind of cool. I like the disbursement of it. I like that there's green and the orange, and there's orange and the purple, and there's purple and the blue. I'm not seeing a lot of the red. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually... Pick up my paint and just put it right back in there. It's not completely mixed up that I um, that I don't let it. Cause this was paint I wanted on my canvas anyway. That looks so pretty though. I don't know, I'm a lover of color, so this is cool. That's getting kind of muddy. And paper towels. Paper towels you should always have ready to go. And I wanted to pick up the green filled out as well. Oh, look at all that. I'm going to pick that up too. Look at that. Kind of cool. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm putting my hand under it before I put in the strainer because I don't want splotches, drop marks on my design. And I do find like when I'm gathering the skins that it's the back of the pellet knife that kind of causes the muddy. So I'm wiping that off before I add the other color. I mean the more 
times you put the colors together, even if they're good colors, the more you're going to possibly get muddying. So. Get my green back on top, although I do have the green underneath, which maybe I should save a little bit of that to try to do a little uh, um, ring pour into so it's not so just start green now with the rest of this design. So I'm going to put the graphite on the outside as my paint to be make sure that I don't fold over and this is just to push the paint give the paint something to flow over flow with Where to go? Come this way, come out this way. I'm gonna add more, but I just wanna not make it too chunky and dried up right next to the, my paint, and then I'll just add it some more completely to the ends. Mostly the corners. Just so it can flow and go over the edge. So I have to remember my tape has to be a little bit more secure on that tab pull part. Although I don't know, I've done so many of this fusion stuff in my <laughs> head, I don't know how many more I'll be doing. I know I've got to probably pour over, I know one of them, I don't even think I showed you the real one when I was like, ugh. Okay, let me pour, get a hold of this. See how it's sucked in? I'm just gonna let it drip a little bit. Yep, and there's that green. So I'm gonna get some of this. And I'm just going to put this here, which I've added, because I think if I just just want it all on the canvas, I think if I just do this a bit. It won't be all, all green. I just want every little bit of my color. Okay. Get you out of the way. All right. Pretty cool. Let's see how much I can keep the lines. I'm going to give it a quick torch because the air bubbles. I don't know what elf can use as my torch when I'm not using it and leaves it on high. So I thought about somehow trying to push some air into this bottle too because there's a lot of people doing things with. Um, Color infusion. I think I've been calling mine diffusion, diffusing it out. <laughs> but the cells that you get when they um, 
infuse it with air as well is like really cool so all right let's just see so where am I oh yeah it's all in that center so I'm just gonna gotta move it around I don't want to mess up the design too much so I am gonna slowly tilt it let me move towards you even though you've got a better aerial view now, I still want you guys to have the best view. See how my color's not folding over because I got that graphite paint around it? I don't think I'm ready to go over yet. Oh my gosh, look how those cells open up. So pretty. I don't know. Everyone's always calling my stuff groovy and psychedelic. <laughs> but I guess that's what you get when the colors you use so many colors. So let me keep slowly tilting this way. is a lot of paint but I do have sides and stuff that I need to cover so I'm gonna get it back to the middle let's try this way ah Again, that lady making me crazy. But I said, there's always things to do around the house. <laughs> ah, yeah, so let me sing you a song that says, oh, shoot, I went over. Something. So I'm loving all the colors. There is seems to be more blue on this side that I'm tilting to than the other side. But then there's more purple. But there seems to be a lot of that light green and the pink and the orange. So uh, I think I'm going to move my paint back to the middle. And... Uh, let's see if I can try to, I hate to lose paint, but uh, which side do I like the least? Try to shake and get my paint together. If you tilt it back and forth a little bit, you can get it more angled towards the corner and not have it go off the side as much, but I just have so much paint. And I knew I was gonna lose some, but want to try and hold on to what I can. Now I let my fingers touch, so it's gonna have like that little wavy design in the corner now. But I'm gonna bring it down a bit moved fast and then come down to this corner and get it back more that end. There you go. Still try to get it. So I didn't get like the nice lines, but I that's what you get when you go so fast through the strainer. But I don't want that gray though. 
I don't want the graphite, so go back over a little bit. So yeah, I think it would be really interesting to try to get some air into these diffusions that I'm doing so to see if I could get more cells out of it. I mean, I'm digging the design. Don't get me wrong, but um, the original sample I showed you had um, those nice big cells in it. All my paint back in the center. Check my corners. Looks like all my corners are done. Look at that. What's that person who does the the hand paintings? I want to say Ulami or something like that. Center could be better, but that's I shouldn't have added the paint so much of the paint in the middle. And I gotta wrap this up because kids are home from school. I can hear them. All right. So I take this. I go under my sides. I do this so that the paint doesn't continue to pull down the sides the weight of the paint underneath will continue to uh, put that out where I can save it to pull your painting so if you do that it'll help it not pull as much and that's pretty <laughs> all right let's do a quick torch and call it a day So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button and it'll notify you when I upload another video. If you like this pretty design of colors, if it's mesmerized you with its colors, go ahead and click like, share it, and leave a comment. If you want to see something similar or with specific colors, let me know. I'll try to do it. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you who subscribe to my channel and who watch. It means a lot to me. So there's some good cell action on certain parts and not on the other, but... got tons of color so it's not like it's really needed and I think I've got except for the red I don't think I used enough crimson I think I used enough crimson on here let me get you for a close-up and Oh, this one done. I can't wait to see how this dries, too. Try to get under this. Give you a close up. I think this ends my favorite end. Yeah. I like the diffusion of color, but to say that I'm completely satisfied. <laughs> Um, again, I like the results from that sample painting. Just wished it would have been on a bigger canvas and it would have spread out. So, But maybe not so much. You know, maybe just a few colors. But Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.